Hello you, I'm Cordan, and welcome back to Warhammer Total War 2, Curse of the Vampire Coast. We are playing the Vampire Coast as Luther Hakar, and well, we accomplished quite a bit. We got our spear, we've got our Necrofex Colossi, and we're going to do something that I've been saying we're going to. We're going to send Luther all the way down to the Dead Sea, and we're going to take over this island chain, because I'm thinking it'd be a good place for us, especially able to, uh, and generally, relocate our base, because, you know, the Vampire Coast is great and all. But I think uh, Lana the Porus is going to be able to take care of this area. We need to go down to the southern lands. So, I guess, you know what we could do? Oh yeah, we don't have to do that. So let us um, cut across real quick. Wait, can we go any faster? Well, I think we'll just go the regular speed. Wait. Oh, why can't we move? That is weird. Well, I guess we can uh, upgrade this. Yes, get that ability. And... Yeah, I think that's we were going to leave that there, and okay, there we go. So last episode had to cut off kind of abruptly. It's not that big of a deal, and it's been like a week since episodes, so I apologize for that. I've been kind of busy this weekend, or maybe it wasn't. I have no clue when I release them. Basically, I release them the day after I record them, um, just because it's easier to record them, upload them overnight, and then um, release them the next day. I release my videos right around... to. Why did you attack me? No, we're going to auto-resolve that. And I'll take your treasure. Uh, but I release the videos around 2 o'clock uh, Eastern Standard Time. Uh, because that seems to be maybe... Well, I, I could change it, but it seems to be pretty, a uh, pretty decent idea. Uh, people seem to watch it occasionally, um, which is pretty cool. And, oh yes, we were going to... We want to get this. Um... See, it might be good to get us... Well, how many... Apparently, we have a set amount. Let's see. Missile resistance. Gunnery mob. All these things are actually really good, and we have kind of a... So we're going to get this, which also gives us an ability. Does it uh, replace any of our other ones? No, it's just another buff, which is good. So we're going to do that. Uh, but yeah, in general, I try to... At least in some way. Okay, what is going on? That, uh... That upgrade thing is still showing. Oh, it's because... Okay, yeah, of course. Uh, what did I want? Yes, I think we were going to make, uh, this... Wait, uh, wait a minute. Wait, go back. Can I get my crab yet? Okay, can't get my crab on that guy. Which, I'm excited because I have one crab. One of these guys is on a crab. Which is pretty cool. Okay, let's see. Can we go... No, I want to go. Oh, maybe I was in build mode. I realize that now. Okay. Now, how are we doing over here? Because we were going to... Oh, yes. We're going to upgrade this. Because we were losing... There we go. I was worried about... We did have a problem with um, our... Well, not our growth, but our expansion of the vampire corruption. Uh, but that is taken care of. And... Oh, yeah. Let's go ahead and upgrade that. It is pretty cool that you can... Uh, I guess do some upgrades to your ship while you're sailing across the ocean. Um, I will say that I have been playing a Empire campaign occasionally, um, not recording because, uh, well, it's not really the current thing, but I actually think that, um, and I've said this before, the vampires are actually a very good mix of Empire tactics and what are you doing? Okay, wait a minute. Uh, let's do Bretonian Merchants. That'd be cool to... Yeah, let's go against the Bretonians. That'd be cool. I just realized there is this gigantic... Sigma forbids this. Whoa, what are you doing to my... Okay, well... I feel like an idiot saying that we were going to do one thing. But I'm really... You know what, actually. Can you just... Yeah. Let's send her over there. I think it'd be fine. This area should be good. Uh, why are we going under public... Uh, lack of corruption. Okay, well, we're going to fix that right now. Let's see. Where is it? There it is. Um, and we're going to continue him on his path. Which, if I'm not mistaken, there is a p treasure map somewhere around here. Right? Okay, well, we don't need that. Abandon that. Wait a minute. Is this the guy? Oh, you know what I think? This might be one of the things that has to do with the... Uh, yeah, so we actually do... 
No, she should be able to take him on. Going to send. Actually, you know what? That is really. F How long is that going to take? Okay, you know what? I've screwed up. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> well, we're, what we're going to do is put that in regular. We're going to attack that. We're going to get this pirate off the seas. Uh, we should be good. And she should be able to hold her, hold out pretty well. Oh, I love the lighthouse. That is really cool. Okay, did you run away? Okay, yeah, of course you did. That's fine, because we can go ahead and get another upgrade. Uh, or maybe we can't. We don't have enough population. Hmm, interesting. Luckily, we'll still be growing that, and that's really not that important. But, yeah, I forgot. This, uh... One of the mechanics is something that has to do with songs that you need to empower your harpoon. Uh, so I guess you have to defeat, um... Certain pirates, um, which is pretty cool. I actually really enjoy all the different types of pirates. That, um... Well, the, generally, the armies that they've come up with are pretty cool. So I don't be sieged. Okay, good. That gives us time... Two. Well, we're not going to take care. We're not going to worry about the dead shrimp. They're not important. Um, they could be, but we're going to jump right here. And I want to really quickly look at something real quick. Where is the piece of eight? There it is. Okay. So we have this piece of eight that unlocks a rotting Prometheus, which I'm not. Oh, it's a. Uh, that's actually good. Um, so the only thing we might want is that, but we've pretty much got all of our... Speaking of that, there might be something I we could get that might be good. Um, no, that's actually fine. But can we replace something in your army? No, okay. Oh, it's because you're in that. No, we can't? Oh, maybe it's because she's in, bes she's in being besieged. I have no clue. I will figure it out. So we should be able to defeat this guy pretty good. Um, I actually really like how each, um, I don't know, what are they, continent? No. Each uh, faction have their own unique style of um, ship. And I think that's actually pretty cool. There are some interesting mods that, whoa, wait a minute. Oh, well, I'm going to beat you pretty handily. Well, thinking about it, though, we might want to fight this because the AI... No, we're completely going to outdo them, yeah. Okay, it wasn't even worth it. We're going to take their gold. Okay, and did we upgrade as well? Oh, we went up one. Oh, that's fine. Faction destroyed. Uh, okay, we just got another mission. Okay, we are getting through these upgrades. Um, what do we want? Pirate, deckhand mob... Uh, we don't have... Okay, that's deckhand. We don't need that. A pirate gunnery mob. Uh, deck gunners. Mortar and Queen Bess. Okay, yeah, that would definitely be good. Yeah, let's get our Queen Bess and our... Wait, did that affect... I'm sorry. Did that affect... Gunnery mob. I wonder if it affects handguns. I do wonder that. Hmm, it looks like it. And wait a minute, what is that? Extra powder. Constant. What is that? That is interesting. Oh, so your first shots actually do more damage. I didn't even notice that. That could be why we're actually tearing through the enemy pretty well. Okay, now we do the range. Uh, miss all damage, I guess. We could do reload time. That wouldn't be a bad idea. Can we see what other upgrades it gives us? Okay, sometimes it does that. Uh, just reload time. Um, blunder bust. I wonder what that does. Kind of curious. I'm going to guess that does more... Well, it only destroys our range a little bit. And our, that range is extremely high, so we're going to... See what that blunder bust ammunition actually does for us. And, oh, you have an upgrade too. That is actually really nice. Um, hmm. Spiteful shot. I don't really know what we want to do with her, so... Could give our cannons more am ammunition. Yeah, let's uh, upgrade our cannons because we're not going to have that much to do with her. Let's see, can we get onto land and actually attack? 
Yes, sir. We already know. You're crazy, not stupid. Oh, I need to look real quick. Does this give me a... Oh, oh well. I was going to... Oh, we... We've got this pretty good. I was going to see if uh, we get double regeneration from uh, a trinket and his abilities, but um, that's not really that big of a deal. You know what? I think, to be honest, we might have um, at least my playstyle where I turtle. I like to turtle and then go forth. Um, seems like maybe we might have, um, I don't know, outclassed the enemy <laughs> that they're going to throw at us. However... If I know anything about the Vortex campaign and how hard that became, it's actually very good to have a really good army that's decked out. Because if you've never played the Vortex campaign at the or traditional, like the um, Night, or not Night Elves, excuse me, Dark Elves, uh, the High Elves, the Seraphon, or the Skaven, they have this mechanic where at the end, now spoilers, you have to fight uh, four, the four other, uh, three other factions plus um, the Skaven faction again. No. I think you always have to fight this game. It's weird. I'm not really sure, but it, it, it's kind of cool. Okay, wow. Ah, this is a nice... We've never played on this map, I don't think. Hmm, it's very nice. I guess we need to look at what we have to fight against. They have a dragon. Ah, just typical stuff, actually. So, let's set up our... Big Bertha. I think, actually, she might be perfect there. Okay, let's set up this real quick, because we don't have too much time. Okay, again, we want to set up our main line. I think we, oh yeah, we changed it up a little bit. So this is going to be our main line. We want the 3-3-3 th three, three, three method. Seemed to work out for us pretty well before. Okay, Luther. Yes, that's why he has so many abilities. That's why we want to put him on his own hotkey. Then we're going to... Get you all there. Where is... There you are. Now, one of these... Okay, so he's on a giant crab thing. That's good. And do you have, like, the blunderbuss? What do you have? Okay, I don't know. But apparently, they have the blunderbuss ammunition, which I'm guessing... I'm gonna have to look this up. Oh, actually, I don't know if I like that. Well, it does allow me to have him behind everybody. But that's not how we have this army set up. Okay, and then we want... I think we're going to have the gunnery over here. And have them supporting that. And what we're even going to put there in their own little... Yeah, that, I think that works. Okay, Big Bertha, you just fire away. I need... Y'all moved up. And I want you all firing at that dragon because that's what we need to worry about now. Okay. Well, they're standing still. Let's use it. Very nice. Okay, what's this? Oh, it didn't actually work. I don't know why. Let's see what this does. Oh, pretty nice attack. Now, what can we do with you? You have... Next the enemy. Okay, that's fine. Okay, again, I think we need to move up our units. Okay, and honestly, we might want to just send them into the fray and hope that they can handle themselves. Now, you need to move forward. Move them forward there. Okay, Luther. I want you to take that out. Okay, and then you have an ability, right? That's all parry. Okay, you don't. Let's see, where can we... Yeah, that's the thing, we have so many units on the field. It's kind of not... Okay, that works. Can we use that on you? Yeah, perfect. Now, where are you, sir? We use that on... No, it's not even worth it. Well, everybody's firing, so that's good. Luther, what are you doing? Okay, then... Luther, you throw down... Some stuff here. Give them abilities. I want you to... 
do that. Okay, Luther, where is their dragon? Luther, you take out that dragon. That is something we need to worry about. Oh. And... Send that into there. Firing good. Okay, actually, I think we're doing good. Uh, how are you all doing? Are you able to see your target? Actually, you might need to move farther down. Perfect. Okay, multi-management of this army is a little bit... Oh, we're actually... Interesting. Okay, Luther, where are you at? Okay, you all need to stop worrying about that. I want you two... Or three, to fire at that guy. As long as... Also, you... Everybody go at their... Captain. Okay, good. We're using those crab things that we need... Essentially to cause... The enemy to focus fire. Okay. Now, was it you that had a blunderbust? Hey, Gunnery, you need to... Focus on this thing. Let's see, I'm gonna follow him real quick. Okay. That uh, just seemed like a regular thing, so maybe it was... You? No, it was him that had it. I don't know. I'm assuming it does more damage for something. Oh, do they have another dragon? Son of a monkey. Oh no, that was us! <laughs> okay. Luther, you're good. Um... Because honestly, though... Let's let them tear down... Kill a few uni units real quick. You all need to fire on this thing. Nope. Okay, I think we're good. Okay! That was actually the main, um... Goal for this video. We're not going to end it yet, because we still have a bit of time and things that we can do. And oh, we lost our crabs. Hmm. Well, that gives us the ability to potentially change up our army a bit. Because I like our front line, however, um, it doesn't lack anything. It's just maybe we can do something more for it, really. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's grab that from them. Defeat. To the bottom of the sea they go. Okay. Their sea shanty is now yours to wield, and you are a step closer to facing Amana. Okay, so it gives us a map wide ability of reload time and defense. Okay, we can definitely use that. I guess we use that in. Okay, wait. Ooh. Assigned unit. Armor. Uh, I think we're good, actually. Good. Okay, let me real quickly check. Yeah, we- oh, actually we do have room for something. Um, oh, we can't use it on you. Can we use it on you? I guess we can use this on them. And is there any... Potions that we could use? Oh, we already have the dead man's chest, okay. And what did I have? Oh, missile resistance and... Yeah, we have so many of those, we don't really need that. And I think nobody had an... Oh, actually they do. The vampire coast uh, we want the gun sight. So, okay, where are you right now, Luther? Okay, good. Actually, can we raise some of these guys? Let's see, who would be good? Um, I have this abomination, which we could use. Which, let me look at it. What's better? Um, They're okay in different ways. Honestly, I'm thinking we might want to change up how we have the army, so more about that in a minute. Let's see, can we recruit? And we can recruit all of these people. Um, let's see, maybe we can just have two of these. That would be good. Then what do we want to replace it with, though? Honestly, I really like these guys. So why don't we get... Oh, what did I do? Why don't we get two um, deck gunners? Yeah, I think that's actually good. So we'll have... Essentially... Yeah, I think we'll be good. Ah, goodness, I fear any army that comes against us. Let me look real quick. Um, does this help anything with deck gunners? 
animated hulks. Uh, no, okay, I picked the wrong thing. Deck droppers. I think those are the flying bat things. Um, scurvy dogs, terrorgeist, no. Okay. Necrofact Colossi, I think that's just Riding Leviathan, Necron. Okay, just defenses for them to keep them more alive, but oh, why did I even do that? Um, uh, deck Gunners, yes, this one, Deck Gunner units, good. Um, and then this helps Deck Gunners. Then what else do we want from here? Deck Droppers, no, Sca okay, That's we don't need that. Riding Prometheus, oh, Necrofact Colossi, so we want... The, that one. So we know which one we want next. And should we send her back to... Yeah, we don't want to lose public control. Let's send her back there. And Luther, you're just upgrading yourself, aren't you? That's good. Okay, um, oh, we gotta wait for her to run. Okay, let's skip that turn. And then, I think... Well... You know what, I think I might have... I think I might end up just giving up on ever dreaming of going to the Southlands. In all honesty, it is, um... Something that I've promised for so long, we're not going to end up doing it, because I actually remember that the map is surprisingly really large. It's actually really, it's really surprising how large the map in this game is. Like, it's legitimately pretty, um, pretty dense and pretty large. Like, look how large this is. Like, it takes a good, like, three turns or four turns to get across that, so... That is good. And I, you know what? I think it's interesting how certain Total Wars will use a, um, well, you know what? We might as well build that. And it gives our abilities. Yeah, this would help us fast track to, hmm. Yeah, let's do that. It would help us fast track. We're going to need it anyways. That's going to help us fast track to the end game. Um, okay, now what do you want? Okay, why didn't you? Okay. Well, that's annoying because I liked having my, my things symmetrical. But for some reason to put it there. Which, I'm not going to complain really. Let's see. And we're going to put you in regular. Do we have to... Oh, wait, who are they? Those are... Skaven, right? No, those are goblins. Who needs? The blue vipers. Okay. Hmm. I don't know if we're at war with them. Well, no, we're not at war. But we not, might need to watch out for them. Just because... We can trust the Lizard. They're pretty decent to us. Uh, even though it looks like they hate us. Jeez. Okay, so they're fine. Um, But we need to worry about the, the goblins. But we should be more or less good. Oh, also, I have a question. Last episode, I and this episode, I'm actually doing something... Uh, construction for buildings. Yeah, we're not going to be changing building times and stuff. Uh, last episode and this episode, I've tried out a new um, method for ed editing the audio. Which I think works better. I've added a little boost in the bass and other things like that. So hopefully it's not too no noticeable, but it sounds better. I think it sounds a little bit better. Um, so hopefully that works. Lord Recruitment. Um, here, Recruitment Rank. Uh, oh my goodness, there are so many things we could use that we don't really need. Ammunition for the Queen. You know, the Queen Bess having more ammunition actually might be a good thing because she runs out. She's the only thing we have that actually runs out of anything. Also, the upkeep would be good. But we're not worried about the upkeep, actually. It's not that big of a deal. We'll put it in there. We have another right we could use. Um, how about... No, we don't need to worry about that. What is actually her loyalty? Oh, she's pretty high. Six. Okay. Yeah, so let's squash the dreams of ever going to the... That area. Ow, oh, we are not going to be attacking the elves. No, that is silly. They have, they got higher range than us. Why would we ever do that? Oh, and you know what? Let's work our way down the coast. Let's grab a few of these treasures. I think that'd be fun. And let's... Run in. Uh, did we get our recruitments? Oh, wait. You have an ability. Wait, wait, don't attack yet. 
I want that. Okay, good. Okay, good. So we got... Oh, did I pick the right ability? Good, we did. I actually picked the right ability. I hear voices. I guess we can. Go ahead and upgrade that again. Just in general, uh, because we want to be working our way there. Because we're pretty close. Okay, I guess we have to defeat this pirate and then defeat Baron Von Heist... Heist... Hestel? Heisty? Oh, it's whatever. So we have to defeat that pirate. And then we have the three shanties that we need. You know what? I am actually really intrigued. Oh yeah, we know what the shanty is. We know it gives us the uh, reload speed, I believe. Yes. Which would be very good in the first few volleys. Especially if we can just... You know what I did actually think? Wait a minute. If we get more ammunition... Okay, let's assign this to... Armor, leadership. Well, who's going to be in the middle of this group? I guess that would be you. Yeah. And we'll test out our, our line. Um, but what I was thinking is, actually, if the more ammunition you have, that means the more ammunition is usable in the higher attack, um, the, the explosive ammunition. So actually, it's not a bad idea to increase your ammunition for uh, your units, because actually, it just means they hit harder for longer. Hmm, that is actually very, that could be also very interesting to use the um, gunnery right. Okay, we want to try out our new tactic. So which one did we put? I thought one of these had a thing on it. Hmm. Did I not hit the OK button or something? I have no clue. Didn't really matter. Okay. Of course, we won't put you on that. Put them there. Or I guess we should put them in. And then, I guess we want to leave with them. Because that's who we're really here to try out. We could. You know what? Actually, I think what we're going to do is... Let me test how far their range is. Okay, so our middle guy struggles, but if we have that overlap, I think we're good. So we're going to lock that. I'm going to put our Big Bess. You know what? We're actually going to put our Necrofax and Big Bess on hold. I don't want to use them. I want to kind of test out my new ideas. Uh, where is... Oh, all of our abilities are there. Cool. Okay, do you all have any... Okay, we're good. So let's pop you up here, then we'll get our duck gunners up. Actually, let's pop them here. I'm going to put them behind. So we're going to use them to rush up. And, oh, daggone. Something. Oh my goodness, there's so many. Okay, how do you do this? You have to alt, and then, okay, I see. Something like that. So what does this do? This does the map-wide reload. Good. Y'all able to see? No, they're not in line of sight. Okay, well, kind of just want to see how good these units are. Oh, well, we have it. Oh my, actually, these are some really good abilities. Oh, so I, I don't think you can use multiple abilities at one time. You have to wait for the cooldown. Oh my goodness, uh, I screwed up. Everybody attack. Control all attack. Okay, cool. I just wanted to see in general how good certain units were. Okay, we want everybody to use everything they have on this Dagon. Can we use this on anything? Okay, there we go. Good, okay. So everything should be good. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Very nice, and let's take you all off. Yeah, put you in fire at will. <coughs> okay, um, I think we're good. So we screwed up because I wanted to see how good the deck gunners went. Actually, they did pretty good. You know what? They're, f they're losing the batter battle. 
Interesting. Okay, I want everybody to chase down these units. Yeah, everybody just come on, let's take them out. There we go, we just want to finish them off. Okay, that's good. We'll let them run away in peace. Yeah, so, um, pretty fun. Pretty fun. Well, for some reason, I guess it's because I'm not used to talking this much. It always causes my throat to get a little irritated and causing me to have to, like, swallow a lot. And I don't like to do it in the microphone, so I have to back, back away. Uh, which, I do use some interesting editing techniques that get, uh, I for some reason like to pop my mouth a lot or click and I don't know why I do that because I don't do it normally but if I talk and it's actually I don't do it in purpose it's just for some reason um, it happens I don't understand why and it's annoying it's as annoying as can be but it's just something I have to deal with but uh, I use a certain tool in audacity that actually gets rid of it um, which is nice. You know what, let's go ahead and take you out. And auto-resolve this, and you're gonna run away, that's fine. Okay. Let's auto-resolve. Wait, do we have that on here? Okay, it, d show it just doesn't... Hmm. There we go. And, okay, good. Got them destroyed. Uh, we don't want the Scarecrow banner, because that is like the most useless banner in the entire game. Well, maybe not, but like, how often, I guess maybe in the Empire you use our fighting vampires and stuff, so maybe you would use it over there for the flying creatures, but like, it's really not that good. Let's see, and we can, oh, we have an upgrade for all of them. So what is this ability? Replaces, and just gives them more ability? Leadership. Oh, leadership goes up. Oh, so leadership goes up and it lasts for longer. Hmm. Yeah, okay, sure, whatever. Could be useful. And give you the. Wait, wait, wait. Yes, let's put you on the big guy. Okay, and you're good. And okay, let's go search this treasure. We might get another battle. Yeah, let's raid the cove. Oh, we got this. Yeah, Luther is getting outrageously good. <laughs> like, outrageously good is uh, this build. Which I'm really surprised by. Like, usually I make really crap builds when it comes to games. Um, and I think it just has to down be down to the fact that we turtled. Which isn't a bad thing. I'm not saying turtling is something you shouldn't do. But I will say, in war, it is better to build up your resources first than get yourself stuck into armed conflict um, without being able to actually take on the enemy because half your supplies are on the other side of the map and you just don't have the resources you need. I'm not saying I know that from experience in other games and especially how I used to play Total War. Oh goodness, I, I'm sure everybody used to play Total War this gateway. And they probably still do. It's probably... It's not a bad tactic to use, uh, but all-out initial warfare where you don't actually build up your forces. You just kind of, you don't even plan really. You just like, I want to start fighting. I don't care if I win. Let's get this stuff going. Okay. Mm, I guess they're all both on Leviathans or they're on the crab thingies. Good. Okay. Real quick. And so they don't, it doesn't cover. Interesting. Why is this cover more than his? I'm not complaining. Well, I guess technically they do fall into that, so let's not really worry about that. And... I think we're good. Okay, let's do this. We want you all here. The deck gunner's here. Move them forward. And... Follow you along. Because we're going to have another battle over this area. Essentially, this is just how this map goes. Not a bad thing. And Luther, I want you 
in the trees facing that way. Let's see. Might be good if I try to focus down some of these leviathans real quick. Perfect. Um, any abilities I can use? Does this have a recharge rate? Okay. Does weapon damage and piercing. Does any of this? No, okay. This just does missile damage. Okay. Hmm. Everybody, you need to get in your lines. Okay, you all just run forward. Okay. Um, I think we're more or less good. Luther, it might be actually good for you to go over and take them out. Okay, Luther, I want you to use... Actually, move forward. Yes, use that ability. We're going to have everybody have their supercharge. We're going to have them run in. Okay, I want you all to focus on this Leviathan. I want you, Luther, to focus on that Leviathan as well. Okay. Good. Is everybody able to... Okay, the Duck Gunners, what is wrong with you all? Okay, you're just not able to see it, I see. Okay, good. Try to maximize this ability. So if we don't take out those Leviathans quickly, they would actually be a big problem to us. Okay, Luther. Why don't you... Yeah, just use that. I don't know why. But we have it, so we might as well use it. Okay, and I want that to target there. I want this to... You know, I want actually... This to target their artillery. And we have... What are you doing over there? Dinguses? Okay. Luther? Shawl to attack. Guess every... Oh, did we kill all of them? Oh yeah, we need to kill their pirate. Okay, there we go. Actually, did pretty well. Um, we don't really need to worry about anything. Ah, I'm surprised how freaking good this is. Okay, let's real quickly. I want to see... Oh, Big Bertha, you are doing great. Just excellent. Excellent. Yeah, I think I actually like this better. Um, see, the Duck Gunners are doing pretty well, and we have our initial screen. I would like to play on a flatter map, so we might have to go, honestly, um, go to the old world and see, or even a desert map. So, healing potion replenishes hit points. Hmm, that might actually be useful for Luther. Because currently he has something... What does it give him? Speed? Yeah, I'd rather have the healing potion for him. Do we have any of this? No. Okay, we're good. Wait, do I have to agree to it? Yeah. Oh, no, I don't. Okay. Luther, what do we want for you? I guess, in all honesty, we can go to making him a better combatant. However, we just use him as a melee, or... We basically just use him for his missile damage. Because he's got so much ammo, ammo and it, it works just fine. Yeah, that's not bad. Um, we don't need that. I guess we could go to... Is there any units that we need to upgrade? We could do... Ah, but we don't send our Necrofax into the fight, so that's not necessary. I guess we could... Recruitment cost isn't a problem. Casualty replenishment. Oh, we're, we're good. We don't need that. Income from sacking wouldn't be bad. Uh, post lamp or income from post battle loot. Oh, that would be good. But we got so much money coming in. That's the problem. It's like you make him good. Well, let's give him the word save. That's always good. Making him a little bit better. Let me upgrade this. Yeah, see, we have so much gold. That is just outrageous. I guess we could think about upgrading this building chain. However, let's see, we could go into building some monsters. Because that maybe wouldn't be bad to get a leviathan or two into the army, just to see how they play. Because maybe we could actually replace the two crabs with two leviathans. I don't know, that's an option. But I think I like the crabs a lot. I don't know, they just fit the 
army aesthetic I'm going for. Uh, public order? Oh, we could do just public order. Uh, public order penalty due to presence of lack of corruption. Pirate Gallo. Oh, is this a new ability? I don't know, I'd have to check, but... It looks like you get... You can use this to get your public order in check. It's interesting. Let's see, do we have to... Well, we're not really worried about public order. Actually, they are. That's only because their corruption is bad. Uh, we'll save our money. Uh, we don't really need to. You know what? We could get another pirate. Or isn't there like... Now we're going to save our money and... Okay, we're never going to use that. Now we might use this one. Okay. We'll keep that one. We might go fight some skeletons. That actually might not be a bad idea. But uh, we're going to send Luther down to get this treasure. Then we'll send him over to get this treasure. And you know what I was thinking? I'm happy to fulfill your death. Uh, what do you want? Peace treaty. Their demands. I'm not. No, I'm not giving you that. I don't know why you would ask for that. Like seriously. Like, come on, come on, skeleton boy. I'm a, I'm an undead pirate. Okay, I don't care about you. I have my free will. You don't. Oh well. Okay. I mean, oh, we have to. That's annoying, but I understand why they do that. And they'll be on three. Okay, then we won't have to worry about them. We upgrade you again, because we might as well. And okay, cool. Uh, I don't know if I ever finished my thought about. I'm going to say this again, but I am trying to edit the audio differently. Um, before I liked. So what I use, I use a, and that's pretty much what everybody uses, is a Blue Yeti microphone. I have the black one. I don't know why I got the black one. Cause, probably because it's the only one at Best Buy, honestly. Um, it's nice. I maybe should have got it on Amazon, but, uh, oh well. Because it's cheaper. Actually, it's not. Sometimes you need to go into the store and actually get the better deal. That's, it's really interesting, especially like on holidays. I know Black Friday's coming up pretty soon. Um, which I'm not going to be buying anything, which it's like, oh my goodness, that's that's crazy. Why would you not buy something on Black Friday? And that's because I don't really want anything, and uh, everything else is too expensive, and I don't need anything. So I'm not going to buy anything. Which, uh, oh well. I mean, it, it's very interesting. Like, I don't know why I'm going to go off on this tangent, but we live in a world where uh, the fact that I can sit here and play a video game and record it and not have to worry about a lion attacking me behind me. I mean, I do have to worry about my cat coming out and like ripping my face off, but um, <laughs> yes, we don't have to worry about lions and tigers and bears. Oh my. Uh, but you know, we don't have to worry about that. And that's like interesting because I think even only like a hundred years ago, let's see, a hundred years ago would have been 18 or not, sorry, 1980 or geez, 1918. Jeez. Yeah, so the end of World War I. Uh, currently, if you think of it, all the troops are coming home, or there's a large amount of troops that are starting to come home um, from uh, Europe, and they're bringing with them the flu. And you know what? Um, people are, uh, like, the Spanish flu has broken out. Like, we do not have uh, flu epidemics and things like that that are at a extreme rate. Like, we just generally live very comfortable lives. And I think that has caused, the fact that we live comfortable lives is what causes us to focus on certain things that aren't actually that big of a deal. And people will call that first world problems. And actually, I I understand why people say that. And here's my counter argument to that, because I'm not supporting, here, let me think what I'm going to say real quick. Um, also, I, I have to cough real quick, but that's not a big deal. Okay, um, I don't know why I keep... Uh, charge bonus. Okay, pretty cool. But in general, um, I think the fact that we don't have to worry about where... And here's the thing. There's a lot of people in this world that have to worry about the, where their next meal comes from. And I think that's why certain things that we worry about aren't that big of a deal. You know, that's where I think we end this episode. I've been Cordan. Please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, you yourself have a wonderful day.